After two straight months of negative returns, REIT investors retreated to some strong results in October. I'm joined by Nareet, Senior Vice President of Research and Industry Information, Brad Case. So Brad, what was driving the returns in October? Well, I think what was driving it was, uh, was reassurance among investors that the economic recovery is going to continue, that we're not moving into another, another uh, recession. Investors were concerned during August and September that perhaps the, the, the uh, uncertainty over in Europe might spill over into the U.S. economy and, and bring our current recovery to a halt. And I think, I think uh, those, those concerns have been allayed. You know, if you look at how well the REIT market did l last month, uh, REITs gained 13.3%, uh, much better again than the broad stock market, which gained 10.9%. In fact, it's interesting, there was, there was a lot of reporting about the fact that the stock market had had its best month since October of 2002, which is certainly true. But if you look at that, at, at that period since October of 2002, uh, the average returns in the stock market over that period have been 6.0% per year, whereas REIT returns have been 11.5% per year over that same time period. In fact, if you look at essentially any long-term time, time period, the last 10 years, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 years, uh, the REIT market has really always outperformed the broad stock market over long investment horizons. Now, all sectors in the REIT market were up in October, um, but the strongest performing sector was lodging. Um, however, lodging still has the, the, the biggest negative uh, return so far this year. W was what we saw in October a signal that things are turning around for the lodging market? Well, I think, I, I think so. You know, I think uh, the lodging sector is probably more uh, affected by whether we move into another recession or whether the economic expansion continues. And so, uh, and so lodging has been hurt more by concerns about the sustainability of the recovery. And then last month when those concerns were allayed, you know, the lodging sector gained more than 25% returns. So I think uh, you know, what's, what's happening is investors are looking at the state of the overall, overall economy and saying that affects business travel, it affects vacation travel, and that, that way it does affect the lodging sector more than the other sectors. But there really was no part of the REIT industry that didn't have a strong month in October. And that, that, that really goes to the fact that, that the story for the REIT industry is a story about economic expansion affecting the entire commercial real estate market. Now, the overall economy, as you talked about, um, you know, there are positive signs. You know, however, you know, one day we hear good news, the next day there's uh, some more concerning news. What's your take on where the overall economy is going forward? Well, I think, I think you know, as you said, there are different pieces of information, and they don't all agree, and that's normal. Um, but, it, but some pieces of information are more important than others. And I think that the pieces of information that are, that are really most predictive of the state of the economy going forward have pretty consistently been positive. We've seen strong numbers for private sector employment growth. We've seen strong numbers for consumer expenditures. And, and uh, you know, those and other indicators suggest that, that uh, consumers are more confident that the economic um, recovery will continue. And more importantly, perhaps, businesses are more confident in making their hiring decisions. And so, uh, and so uh, in general, I would say that the pieces of information that predict a stronger economy are probably more important than the conflicting piece of information that, that, that you know, reveal that there still is uncertainty. I don't want to suggest that, there, that, that it's a lock that the economic recovery will continue, but I think the evidence is in favor of that. Great. Brad, thank you very much for joining us. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, including exclusive coverage of REIT World 2011, be sure to visit REIT.com.